Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about higher order components in React. In JavaScript, we have higher order functions, which are nothing but a function that you pass to another function as an argument. So higher order components are very similar. So what you can do, you can abstract out the common functionalities among some of the components and you can build a function. And then you can pass your component, basically wrap um, the component with this function, the special function, and do something in it inside. And then you can return a, a component. And that's what you call higher order component. And the important thing to notice is inside this function, you don't really change any functionality of a component. You rather do kind of minor things like, for example, you can uh, inject new props or translate one prop to another. Um, you can build custom errors or you can set defaults, things like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a very simple example so you can learn higher order components. And welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. All right, so to start with, I have created this uh, project using Create React App. So this is what we're going to work in. So our objective is um, let's create a custom component, and which is simply a button. And inside a button, we can have a default style, uh, which will be inside the provided inside the button. And then we can have a, a prop called disable. So when we pass the prop disable, it should uh, pick a different style uh, from inside. So we have we would have some logic inside the component or where it would pick a different style when we provide a prop. And first we're gonna do it using, you know, it just the logic inside the component. And then we're gonna extract that in, uh, logic out to a higher order component to see how it really works, right? So let's build our first component. So inside the source folder, I am going to create a folder called uh, components. And inside this, I would have, um, let's say button one.js. Okay. Now this button, it's going to be a functional component. So all I have to do is const um, button one equal to, uh, this would be a functional component, which returns a regular button. And I would say I am button one, okay? And it would have styles, but let's just first export it. So export um, default uh, button one, all right? So we can use it. So inside my app component, all I have to do is I can import components and inside I would have a button one, right? So now I can use it here, button one. And I don't have to do anything here right now. So let's see how it compiles. All right, so I have this uh, button. Right now it's normal, but let's add some style to it. And I had to add React here because it won't work without it. Okay, so let's some, add some style. So for that, I can have some um, style object inside. So let's say const uh, styles equal to, and I'm gonna have some defaults. So I have some background color, which is like a grayish looking, and I can have some color, which is kind of whitish looking, and I can also add some uh, padding. Let's say add 10 pixels. Now here for the button, we can have some styles. So I can just use the styles. So I can say styles uh, dot, uh, well, style equal to, and I can use uh, styles dot default. So this applies the, the default styles to this button. So my button looks something like this. There's a gray background and some whitish color. All right, so now what I want is uh, from here, I user should be able to pass, let's say, disable. And 
it should pick a different style. So it should show a disable button with a disable style. It could be one or multiple styles, you know, it could have a different background color, different uh, color, it could have a different border and all that stuff, right? So how do I do that? So inside here I can have another style called, uh, let's say, disable. Okay, so I have to default and disable. Now, based on the prop disable, I want to make that decision here. So instead of picking a default style, I want to pick, pick disable style. But remember, I also want the padding here. So I don't want to completely pick the disable. I just want to override the background color and color. So what I can do here is, um, since I would get some props here, right? Uh, I can say if props has disable, so say so I can say if uh, props has disable, then I want to overwrite uh, this this into here, right? What I need to do is have some local variable const let's say uh, styles equal to so this would be styles dot and I can use a spread operator so I can copy all the values right here I can say uh, underscore styles equal to um, I can keep all the styles and overwrite it with this styles dot disable so I can say styles dot disable and I can spread it as well all right so this styles would have uh, this background color this color and padding from here so basically create a copy here so this they should have this three styles and then it would override this to here right and all I have to do is just simply use underscore style here yeah underscore styles actually all right so now I can see this button which looks like disable what if you have another button which also requires same disable it also need, needs to have the same mechani mechanism to override it so I don't want to write this logic in every single component I need to move this out into uh, some function which is a higher order component so let's do it so what I'll do here is um, create a new folder I'm gonna call it HOC which means higher order component and let's create a file called wrapper.js um, and also what we can do is we can remove the styles from the button one and move it to somewhere um, let's say create a new folder called styles and inside here we can have a new file called common styles.js okay and here I can have the same one and then I can export it export uh, default styles so now styles are coming from this common styles it's no longer inside this button and I don't want to import it here as well I want to keep this clean I want to import it inside the style wrapper all right so let's first import common styles from and this is actually one level up so styles and common styles all right now how do we build this higher order component so this function would take an argument as a component so let's call this uh, a wrapped component if I want to use this inside let's say button one then what I would do is I would have to say import style wrapper I need to import the style wrappers that we just created it's called styles wrapper I guess um, from 
and again it's like a one level up so it's HOC slash style wrapper right and then when we export this button instead of exporting just a button we can just wrap it with this uh, style wrapper all right so as we can see taking this component which we are passing so we are passing button wrapper to the style wrapper right so which is happening here now what we want to do is we want to take its props and then we want to uh, look at the same thing we did in the, the component where we look at the props um, look at the disable and if it's disabled then we want to build some styles based on the disable styles right so let's build that function separately so we don't have to you know uh, deal with it here so I'm gonna call this function translate props because that's what we are doing right we are translating we are passing some props and we are translating so this will take some props um, if our props has disable and paste uh, this should be done outside so the first thing we want to do we want to uh, take the common styles to be inside uh, since we have, we have common styles and then if the props has a disabled property then we would take the styles and it's override disable on for it right now remember uh, additional to disable we want to add some styles right so here we need to create a new uh, prop so I can say new uh, props equal to we take the original props so this would have what so this would have only one prop which is disabled equal to true and then we add styles to it so we can say um, styles equal to underscore styles and then we return the new prop okay so we take the prop which is disable equal to true we translate it to some styles and then we we also pass we are already passing this component into this function right so we need to a return a function is we're gonna call it um, wrapped render and it will take it will have an argument called args and then we're gonna return the same function same component back with the translated props so we can say uh, return translated prop the original props so it takes the props of a component translate it and then just returns the new component right that's that's all it does and inside the button one uh, what we want to do here is uh, we don't want all of these here and instead of styles we can now call it this dot props dot uh, styles since we are passing the styles we are adding a, the new prop called styles here right so it will be available oh one thing i need to do okay so this one disable there's no styles here so we need to have a common styles dot disables because we are getting it from the common styles oh this should be actually props dot styles not this dot props so all right so it works so i don't have a disable button and it works beautifully so here now my button one looks so simple and this is how it's supposed to look like uh, without any log logic inside and uh, all the logic is now moved to this style wrapper and so if i create another button two i just have to simply wrap the button two with the style wrapper and and you can also pass a disable uh, prop inside and it would pick the disable style for that button uh, so this is really cool by the way i will upload this example onto my git site so you can 
look at it and play around with it. And by the way, this is a much larger series on React if you haven't been following it. Uh, I'll provide a link to the um, a playlist so where you can see all the uh, tutorials from the beginning to end. And I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and if you did, please like, don't forget to like, subscribe and provide a nice comment. And you can actually help the channel via Patreon and by donating a few dollars. And you can also translate this video into your native language so your countrymen can also learn. Um, it's very easy actually. I provided the description on how to do it inside the description of the video. And thank you.